Hey guys, what's up? So ever since I posted that part one video about me talking about the things that people do that piss me off, a couple of you guys asked me to make this a weekly thing, and since it is the week after that first video, then obviously it is time for part two. I absolutely love that you guys had such a positive response to that first video, and once again, if you guys have anything to share, leave all your comments down below. And uh, I think that's about it. So yeah, let's just get into part two because I have a lot to say, girl. Number one definitely goes to the ask holes. Now an ask hole is somebody who asks for advice but never uses that advice. And throughout my life, I've met quite a few ask holes, so I want to shout out to you guys personally. Why do people ask for advice when they know damn well they're not going to use your advice for anything? Like, why waste my time? Why waste your time? Why waste anyone's time asking them to give you advice when you're someone who just does what you want to do anyways? And listen, look, I understand that advice is not something you absolutely have to listen to, but when you ask people so many times, especially about relationships, there comes a point where people are going to be like, just shut the fuck up and do what you're going to do because you're going to do it anyways. My least favorite people are the ones who continuously bring up and ask questions about whether or not they should stay with the fuck boy or fuck girl they're currently dating or not dating or the fuck they're doing. Even though they know damn well that busted ass, broke ass person's gonna fuck with them emotionally and mentally and play games with their feelings and shit, but they'll be damned if they don't show up to that damn kickback with that person on their arm. They do nothing for you, yet you keep going back to them. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Don't ask me questions about this person. Just shut the fuck up and do what you're gonna do, because you're gonna do it anyways regardless. I hate people who say there's no such thing as a dumb question. Have you ever worked in retail? I understand why teachers say it in like kindergarten, like elementary school, middle school, because you're learning. You need to ask questions in order to learn. But when you grow up and you're working in retail, you notice that a lot of people ask a lot of fucking stupid ass questions. The two worst questions I've ever been asked. One day, I had just opened the store that I was working at. And people are walking into the store and this dumbass lady opens the door and says, Hey, what time do you guys open? While everyone's walking past her. The second one was when I was working at Victoria's Secret, I was standing in the beauty room, like where the perfumes and lotions are, and this lady comes up to me with a straight face, asks me, hey, where are your perfumes? Bitch. If you just observe your surroundings, more than half the time your questions will be answered. I want to know what you guys have been asked. If you guys have any, like, really dumb questions that customers have asked you, leave those down below, because these crack me the fuck up. Number three is definitely one that I've always asked myself, and it honestly only pertains to one person. And that person's Beyonce. Girl, I can have another you in a minute. Matter of fact, he'll be here in a minute, baby. Why the fuck would you want another one of those fucking fuck-ass, busted-ass boys when you just dumped his ass for cheating on you? And number two, why the fuck is this guy on the way already? So that means that you really aren't as innocent as you claim to have been. If this dude is already on the way, you must have had him on the side getting ready to go in. Yeah, here you are playing the victim, talking about all this bullshit, saying he can leave and all this bullshit when you're doing the same shit on the side. Girl, bye. Why do people complain about situations that they can easily remove themselves from? Now, whether that be relationships, jobs, school, whatever the situation may be, you are the one who is in charge of what you do for yourself. There is nobody else on this planet that can make you do something you do not want to do. So if you're unhappy in a situation, whether it be a relationship or something else, just pack your shit and get the fuck out. It gets old when you keep complaining about something that you know people have told you to take action on. People get tired of hearing about it, even though the real friends will stick around and help you through everything, which I am that kind of person. I know you're unhappy, and I will sit here and tell you every single time that if you are unhappy, you need to get the fuck out. Even though I know damn well you're not gonna fucking listen to me and get the fuck out. This next one is one that I'm pretty sure we can all relate to. Why do guys seem to think that taking a swimming on the first date scares the shit out of us? Boo thing, let me just tell you something right now. If you think this expensive ass makeup is gonna go raining down my face and you're gonna see me go from a 10 to a 2 in 2.5 seconds, guess what, my dude? You just played your damn self. Number one, setting spray is your worst enemy in the situation. And number two, I'm a 10 with and without makeup, bitch, so what? The fuck you thought? Alright, maybe I'm being a little extra right now. Alright, maybe not a 10, but a solid 6. And don't you busted ass males try to act like beards and mustaches don't do the same thing makeup does, boo. I may go from a 10 to a 6, but let's shave that facial hair off and watch you go from Prince Charming to Lord Voldemort, bitch, okay? Why do straight men and women avidly watch porn and get off to gay and lesbian porn? Well, they be the first motherfuckers in line fighting against LGBT rights. Why the fuck do you get to pleasure yourself while watching them make love to each other and then turn around and fight against their equal rights? Who the fuck are you, my dude? 
that just makes you an asshole. Like, who the fuck are you to get off on these people and then deny them equal rights? Like, fuck out of here. I'm bringing that up because someone, unfortunately, who is in my personal life has brought this subject up and I called him out in his shit and he didn't like it very much, but it is what it is. It's what I do. Like I said, I'm not trying to make jokes about that. It's a serious thing. I really want to know why the fuck people act like that. You know what I mean? Like, you're being a serious hypocrite. But that's just me. That's just me, girl. And then lastly, I have seen this mistake made so many times in arguments. And I want to just straighten it out right now. When you are talking about something that you don't care about and you want to emphasize how little you care about that subject, it's not, I could care less. It's, I couldn't care less. When you say, I could care less, it means you do care and you could possibly care less about it. If you couldn't care less, that means you don't give a fuck. So learn the difference and use the right one. Alrighty guys, so that is all for my rant video for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any topics you want to discuss, leave those all down below as well as all your requests and comments. Add me on Snapchat, let's get to chit-chatting. If you would like to do a collab with me, please let me know on Snapchat or on here. I love you guys so much, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.